What's up guys, Swiss Guys 3 here with another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla Part 22. Let's do this. I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. They of Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burr Castle. The award has answered the call. I should join Finnir at our forward camp. <laughs> All right. Kingsbury Horn has inspired more than a few farmers to action. Block the path, please. came from Elmenham. Valdis must have got to them. The brothers' fleet gathered and ready. Can we really do this? Hey, we're just trying to put my long ship to use it. <laughs> Eivor! Word of your actions in Theovord has spread like wildfire. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he's not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the fear at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship. Is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. Oswald! 
who was a man who did not hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed. For us, for us, Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruit's clan, once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. It may be they are one and the same. the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear din. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves, ruined shit stains will see us coming.
Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon whore, son? This swine is your prize. Come and uh, get him. Uh, gladly. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> you throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God. A lawful assembly. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? Can I choose? Can I choose? Please. Please let me choose. Yes! He deserves death, Oswald. That is our way. Eivor, please! Yeah. <laughs> blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. I don't care. <laughs> this is I should speak with Oswald. See if he is well. Saxon and Dane, we fought well, side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, people like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you are crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought, well fought, the both of you! <laughs> you came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. A wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute, and I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. But some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Fenir, are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now, I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Did it. We did it.
thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for his thank Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you crowned. And now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With this Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. All right. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. That's 
set. This is all in As with everything, an easy task for the Wolfkist. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive. Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Alright. Okay. Okay. Good. Skull Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolfkiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. Oh, <laughs> a fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. <sighs> Skull! Is that what you say? Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Stronger. Good job. Better luck next time, Wolf Kissed. Yeah. Okay. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. I'm not doing that again. Oh, I'm okay. Look there, pillar on the roof. The road to Valhalla does not run that. The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freyr. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my... Plow sword. Have another horn of meat, brother. It's brewed with clover and raspberry, they say. Did you hear what I? Hmm. <laughs> yes, it's good. Keep that up. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! <laughs> the road to Valhalla does not run that way, Vimir. He's been up there a while. Eivor, Eivor! Phoenix, stop! Hold it up there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. 
Saxon God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you alright? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull, Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. All right. You're very strong. You, you're very large. For this, Eivor, I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> 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 Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm not yet finished celebrating. I'll come find you when I'm done. Take your time. It can wait. Alright. I will we'll get to this next week. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos every week. I'm logging out. Goodbye.